is uh, Ben Marston and I head up all of the marketing activity here at Turing Brewery. Uh, the brewery itself has been um, around since 1992, um, established in the middle of the town and we moved to this site in 2010. Turing Brewery is actually located um, just on the outskirts of the town. The reason that we um, set the brewery up in this part of the country really um, came about through um, actually where the directors lived. Um, it was an also an area that had a history of, of brewing, but um, there was a significant gap, um, probably about 50 years before we, um, we came on the scene. Um, in terms of the, the area and what it offers, um, we've got access to um, some, some, some great ingredients in the area. Um, one of the key things though is the, is the water. This here is really important, okay? It is going to be 90% plus of what you are drinking. We can't use any old water. Our water has to be hard, and that is what Tring has. We have very, very hard water, which is perfect for producing classic real ales. In a given year, we'll typically produce about 25 different beers. Um, these are split across um, a number of categories. So we have our core product, um, we then have seasonal specials, and finally we have our 12 monthly specials. The process is actually quite long-winded, but to, to, to break it down, as you've requested, um, what we do is we take malted barley, um, we mix that with uh, liquor, which is actually treated water. Um, and that process is, is called creating a mash, a mashing in process. And what we do is we extract um, sugars, colour, flavour and aroma from that barley. Um, that solution is then sent to um, the kettle or the copper um, where it's boiled. Um, during that boiling process we will add hops to introduce bitterness, flavour and aroma. It is then cooled, it goes into fermenters where we add yeast. Um, we then have a period of fermentation um, and what happens there is that the yeast is responsible for converting those sugars to CO2 and alcohol. We then have a cooling process which effectively ends the fermentation. The beer comes from those fermenters, um, it's brought into this cellar environment where it's cellared for at least seven days. Um, sometimes the beers are going to be in here sort of three to four months to mature before they finally go out the door to the customers. Going back a couple of years we did one called Rocket Man um, which was basically themed around um, Elton John and his involvement with Watford Football Club. The former event being in 83 which is why that particular date appears on the pamphlet. I think it would probably be quite easy to say that the unique selling point was our beers um, and certainly we strive to make those different from the beers that are produced by our competitors um, and also the passion for delivering the best customer experience possible that really I think sets us apart from other breweries in the area. I discovered Dream Brewery when I first moved into the pub I work in at the moment. It was on draft, never heard of it before, quite quirky little art designs. Uh, tried it, fell in love with it, and then found out that you could come here and take beer home with you. Stream Brewery is the one. Like there, <laughs> there is no other brewery that you should go to. Like it's absolutely fantastic. Like the, and the range that they do as well, they do from quite light beers to quite like, stouty beers. Like you've got your Rich, your Ruby, anything you could possibly want can come out of this brewery. The fact that they're keeping their branding real and they're sticking with their local branding, I do believe they've had, a, they've had options to expand but they've turned that down solely because they don't want to lose that quality. The future plans for Turing Brewery are, um, well there's a number of things really. Um, we're going to continue to um, look at the ingredients that we use. Um, we're going to look at developing and refining the business really. So um, how we can maybe use um, rainwater harvesting for example, use that water for cleansing. So there's, there's lots and lots of different things that we are going to uh, investigate. We're no longer a fledgling business. We've, um, we've had a number of years to grow and develop. Um, we will continue to focus on um, using different hops, different malt varieties from around the world to, to further improve our beer. Um, and we have a continuous programme of improvement. Mm -hmm.